Welcome back to the Van Wall Agronomy Series Seed to Grain Solutions 360. As you can see, we are out in the field planting corn today, one of the best days of the year. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the equipment that we are using out here in the field today, and then we're going to do some digging and we're going to talk about seed to soil contact. So let's get started. Here with me today is Scott Meldrum, and he is going to explain the planter and tractor that we're going to be using today. So, Scott, go ahead. All right, Todd, thanks. What we have here is we have uh, a model year 22 8RX 410 John Deere. So, this is the only fixed frame four track tractor on the market. Um, as you can see, this tractor actually has the new integrated liquid tanks. We can carry a thousand gallons of liquid on the tractor. Um, we can then pump it back to the planter. Um, this tractor uh, handles this 24-0 planter very good. Um, as you move backwards here towards the uh, rear of the tractor, we then have a model year 22 John Deere 24-row 30-inch spacing um, exact emerge planter. What makes this planter a little bit different this year is it has the exact rate liquid system on it. That allows us to place with this system up to 30 gallons to the acre going through the field. This has frame mounted coulters, which allows for that higher rate. It can also come with in furrow um, applications, but that will allow a lower rate. The exact merge planter allows us to plant upwards of 10 miles an hour and still maintain perfect singulation and perfect seed spacing. This planter does have new uh, tracks on it. Um, this is a joint venture between John Deere and Susie Tracks. Um, this is for ground uh, compaction, uh, reduction in compaction going through the field. And we're going to uh, we're going to put this plot in today. Um, and we're uh, we're looking for a, a nitrogen study. Is what we're looking at today is uh, different uh, rates of starter fertile starter nitrogen when we're uh, at at uh, at planting to see if that's going to give us a yield boost in the end. So. Um, We'll get everything loaded here and uh, get going. So Scott just talked about the equipment that we are using in the field today. Now I'm gonna get into showing, we're gonna dig, we're gonna check depth of our, of our seed, and then we're gonna talk about closing this trench. That is a important aspect of things that, that, that usually does not get covered. So here we are looking at our, our row and we wanna dig up, we wanna dig our seed. We want to check our depth here. We want to, we're planting at, at two inch seed depth. So let's dig our seed. Let's find the seed here and check the depth to make sure we are at two inches. This is always the fun part, trying to find the seed. And there's seed. So, we're planting at two inches. There we are, we're set at two inches. We have hydraulic downforce on this planter, so we are able to maintain that two inch seed depth all the way through the field consistently. And we all know that consistent depth leads to consistent emergence, which will lead to a, to a higher yield for you in, with your corn. It's just as important to close the trench as it is to set the trench. So we checked our depth. We made sure we were planting at the right at, at the right depth. So then it's just as important, like I said, to come through and close this trench back up. Today we are using two rubber closing wheels. John Deere offers multiple options on it. What we're trying to do with these closing wheels is we want to pack the dirt in around the seed to, to maintain, to once again maintain proper seed to soil contact. So as I said before, we're out here planting today. You have a lot going on inside the cab. Make sure that you get out and, and you dig up some seed, you check your depth, you, you check your closing wheels and, and make sure that what the computer says it's doing is actually what it's doing. So with that, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay alerted when, when new episodes 
come out and hey guys, planting is the best time of the year. So have fun with it. And remember, stay safe out there. See you next time.